Hi guys, how are you today? So today I found this question. This guy asking about the phase scale in waveform, but we will cover the whole waveform, including the phase scale. And I have already created some patterns using waveform. So this is how you can use waveform to make these cool pattern and also using a uh, waveform for the colors. So let's start this tutorial. So let's create a new particle system in this new uh, empty folder. So I'll just take a Niagara. Take the empty FX waveform. Okay, and inside it, I'll just take a simple Niagara fountain emitter and let it compile. So I'll just delete all these things, and we have just the gravity that like particle is falling down. So you see in the gravity we have this z minus uh, uh, value and we don't have any value in here. So if I put some value on x it will go diagonal and if I make it negative it will go right. Okay. So to use waveform there are two ways. First is you can go here and take a waveform and it will come up like this and then if you see what it writes it writes this parameter. You can use it in uh, in any of other modules like if you want to add it this uh, x or y or z anything you can just connect this waveform with that and the second way is we will cover this how to use that second way is you can directly link it here but before that you need to make it float so if i just break this and make the z minus 980 again and now on the x i can just connect waveform so if I uh, connect this, there are lots of options like uh, how many you want to use, one, two, three, currently it is one. So we have just one waveform, inside it we have lots of, okay. If you make it two, you will have, oh, if you, if you make it two, you will have two waveform and three, you will have three. And how to use that, how they will change the behavior. So first, let it be one and see this is sign, sign looks like this a wavy curve so if you increase the settings here like a scale if i make it 500 see it's going there but it is kind of diagonal so you can add the bias like minus 250 half of this it will be straight but now it is wavy let me make some space here so you can see properly okay and also let me just make this turn this off and make the size 10 Okay, so now you can see. So instead of this sign, you can use a lot of things. For but first, the this guy asking about this phase scale. So first, we will cover that. So phase scale basically is a multiplier of this age phase scale. So is a multiplier of phase that is actually time. So if I reduce this, it will be slow, and if I make it uh, five, it will be faster. Okay. So if you if you have like your particle and you connect a uh, size and you have uh, this uniform and then you take the sign. So if you make like 20, so it's just making the particle uh, up and down with this and there there is a period. And so basically this normalized edge where you connecting the edge, if you multiply it, that will be a phase. So now if you connect again edge. Five degrees and five degrees. So this is the phase, and this is also can be connected with the period. So period is also the phase. Okay, so that is just wanted to show you. So basically, what you can do with it, there are lots of things you can make. Like you can uh, let me make this two, and there's a global uh, scale that you can increase like this. So instead of sine, you can use cosine. So in the sine, it will be like from here to here. This will be like other side. This cosine. It looks same because uh, both are uh, waves. If you take the square, you will see the difference. It's making square. And I'll show you on a different method also. You will understand better. And if I say I have a sawtooth, see how it's making this wavy kind of thing then we can also use pulse cool so these are the things so let's say if you want to use two and how it will make different 
so you have sine and it has a big waves now you want to add small waves in it you can make a second and you adding sine again and in here we had this thing and the frequency is one so in here let's make the 200 and minus 100 and then the frequency we can increase so you can see we have a little uh, little uh, like waves inside it if i increase it like 500 minus 250 now you can see we have a big waves then small waves so this is how you use it okay and the other method to use it uh, and you will understand better i'll just delete this and just delete this also and i'll just take the first and make the 100 you can make anything and then in here in the position i'll just break and take the execution index and just increase it so we will have a line and i'll just spawn once and make the life infinite so they will not die again and again and now if, with this value you can choose how much you want so like this then you have the size i will use non-uniform size and here if we don't have random rotation you can scale the size on x why so basically i'll make this 10 and 10 and now here in the size i'll take a parameter and non-uniform and break so again we have this and i can change the size now we will use the wave here but now i will not connect wave directly here instead i'll take the wave form and just move it here above this and then we will connect this thing with the wave not with this but with this this is the output of this so if you rename this like you call it like my waveform okay and now if you connect here you will see this thing okay but it's not showing the it's actually let me i think we have to rename oh it will show you the same thing it will not rename actually so you can just connect but if you will have multiple like i'll delete this and take the waveform and then i'll duplicate this why is not oh my pc just stuck So now I have this wave and I'll take the wave again. Now I have two waves and they have different names. So if you see here, you check, you will see both wave and 001. So you know which wave you are connecting. So I'll just delete this now and I'll just connect wave. This is connected. Now everything we will do here and see it's already working. But because this is working on edge, so it's working uh, all together on all the particles so if you want to add it you can just go here and use execution index so it will be different for each particle and if i just stop and increase this scale see and then you now you understand what is doing with this scale and if i change the bias you can see what is happening here it's adding a value and now if you see the phase scale what is happening is just a time okay okay and if the frequency frequency is just scaling it okay and then here in the sign if you'll change it to cosine it will change and then you can see we have a pendulum which looks really different and then we have a square so we have squares and we have sawtooth so now you can see exactly what is happening so it will take a random and let's say you take this uh, sawtooth or maybe pendulum yeah pendulum and i want to add let's decrease the frequency and i want to add some more uh, small frequency so i'll just take this two and in the second one i'll just take the sign and let's take increase it but i'll in oh we need to connect here execution index and now see i'll just decrease this yeah 
so with this we have this uh, pendulum shape and in that pendulum shape we have this small uh, uh, sine wave and now we will using this form waveform here so the output this output we can use for anything like for color so if you want to use it for color let's say you have the red color and you want to change the hue you can just take the color and just take the hue here and just connect the wave here okay and it will animate actually see so you have to just take the initial color here and if you want to change the the uh, the hue pattern you can just multiply this wave with a value and now if you decrease or increase it you'll see it's just changing the pattern it's actually scaling the gradient see so the all the higher points are now purple bluish all the higher points are now green so if i increase this waveform this thing this frequency all the higher points will always be green because that's how it is assigned cool so this is what you can do and also if you go here you can change the pivot and you will have a cool this kind of thing if you want you can also do this thing you can just disable this and take the shape location and take the torus and just make this zero and you have a cool this kind of pattern Although you can increase the spawn rate if you want. And you will have this cool type of pattern. Cool. So you can do lots of things with this waveform. And in here you can see each and everything you can change how these work. But the options are same here. And then there is a like like uh, there is a global magnitude or amplitude actually. And then there is a clamp. I'll show you how this works. So I'll just delete this and just break this again and execution index. So you have this thing and let's also make this 0.5. And in here in the waveform, I'll just make this just one. So you have just this thing. And now in here, this thing is a multiplier of all. And then you have this minimum and maximum. Okay, if you increase, it will like it will clamp that thing. And if you want to increase this, it will just add in the so you can make lots of pattern with this. Like this. So you, you can make different patterns. Cool. And there's also exponent. Let me show you the act. What is exponent? So I'm just increasing it, and I just turn this off. And this. So there's an exponent, and if you increase or decrease, this is how it works. This is like a if you have a texture and you use power. So this is what power does with the gray texture, black and white texture. So these are the settings and there's also amplitude minimum maximum here for a separate wave see so you can just play with it cool so i hope that's it bye, -bye.